America is on high alert tonight. There is no justice without freedom, and there can be no human rights without human liberty. If the ideals of justice, freedom, and liberty are to be more than empty rhetoric, people must form an educated opinion about the issues that concern them. People have a right to know. Don't take your votes. cheap little pathetic shot. But serious news and informed debate on which democracy depends are disappearing from television, the medium most people rely on for news and information. Every American to support our military, and if they can't do that, to shut up. From my point of view, which is a conservative American point of view, with our embedded journalists, we get little snippets of what the administration wants us to see. This administration has been particularly determined to control information. They have a strategy called information dominance. Powell said Saddam might have tens of thousands of liters of anthrax. What you see is the truth and it is reality and we are very, very confident in what we presented. The truth, reality. People across the political spectrum are saying, how did they get it so wrong? They got to work with a big lie that Saddam Hussein was working with Al-Qaeda and Osama bin Laden. But if your president and vice president, one on Monday will say that they worked together for 9-11, on Tuesday the other one will say it, they just go back and forth. Repetition, repetition, repetition. What's that? The secret of advertising. Target Iraq. Operation Iraqi Freedom. As you're going to war, if you criticize the war, you're not patriotic. Once the troops begin to die and you criticize the war, you desecrate their graves. The effort to marginalize dissenting voices is very, very powerful. They very clearly know that their lives are not counted. You don't feel as we do. Your blood is cheap. That's the message. This feeds the tremendous rage. Too few people own too many outlets. Newspaper, newspaper owners own TV stations, TV stations own publishers. And so it goes. And so our republic went. We need television and internet news with the courage and ability to investigate, report and debate without bending to government or corporate pressure. The day that seemed possible to me was February the 15th, 2003, when at least 15 to 20 million people around the world demonstrated against the war in Iraq. And it occurred to me if we could harness the economic power of the passion those people felt, that we can now fund an independent television network. Large chunks of the world are very ready for a network of news that's not CNN, that's not the BBC. This is the sort of thing we can build right now without anyone else's permission from the government or from the business community. It's the powers in our hands. Tell the world you want to know. Tell the world you have a right to know. Help us build our internet army. Make the real news a reality.